Hello and welcome to Meanwhile back on the hobby farm. Day two of harvesting. Today was just regular peppermint. And boy, do I have a lot of it. This is about a third of what I have. I didn't harvest at all because I was running out of time, I was running out of room, and I want to leave some fresh because I'll tell you, there's nothing like a nice mug of peppermint. I call it tea, but peppermint water. And uh, you, you just, you can't beat it. Uh, but I just got done harvesting a whole bunch of that, and I got another fan going on in here. I think I'm even going to put a larger fan. And there's a couple things I want to go over. Check this out. I finally did it. I finally got around to weeding my two beds that needed it bad. This is um, my, uh, we're going to go through this, get a closer look over here. What we have going on over here is I had ordered five, um, tip of my tongue here, I forgot, elderberry plants from my uh, local extension. Five of them. Here's one. That one died. There's two. There's three. And there is four. So four out of the five, not bad. A lot better because uh, I shoved some tomato plants in here and some stage plants to, to cover up some of the space. Over here, I had uh, ordered online my nightmare experience in the Four Seasons Nursery. Uh, they send you those catalogs every year. I ordered 21 of those uh, um, giant super green that grow 60 feet tall. Well, they didn't grow anything. This is what happened. This is what I got. Every single one of them, except one of them, does have a little green on it, is basically deader than a doorknob. Check that out. 21 of them, $135, waste of money. Hey, while we're at it over here, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to show you, we don't waste anything around here. We're going to take a little trip. When I say trip, I mean trip. I have to crawl over things and everything, and uh, I mean trip, I mean it literally. We're going to show you, we're going to turn this baby around, and we're going to come around over here and show you what we do with the grass clippings. You want to see a whole bunch of chickens run. The goats really are not grass eaters. If there's nothing else to eat foliage-wise, they will eat it. I just gave them a bale of hay two days ago, and it's gone. There's not much green in the back 40. So, I'm going to put this down, see if I can put that down a little bit here. What will happen is the goats will come here out of curiosity and watch the chickens, because they're looking for worms. And they'll eat the grass too. Hey guys, look what I got for you. Look. We don't waste anything around here. No need, I could have just thrown it on the ground and let it dry up, but no. Uh, stop being mean. They're really not into greeting grass and weeds, but how you doing there, buddy? How you doing, huh? You're no longer king of the court, I think. Simon kind of took over, huh? As you can see, Captain's eating some of it. The chickens will come over. They won't get too close to the, uh, to the goats. But we're going to come around. There's not much foliage left on there, so that's why they'll go for anything. We're going to come back over here. And what's on the agenda now that I got the weeding done and I got some of the peppermint planted. I'm gonna do some weeding here. Look, I got some peppers already. Peppers are coming in already. Awesome. I've got my plants over here. My medicinal herbs that I started indoors that I never even transplanted out of a flat yet. Thank God they're slow growing. I'm gonna transplant these. It's gonna be a temporary planting. I'm going to plant them over here where the uh, giant green waste of my money plants that I ordered online came from and uh, I may dig them back up in the fall or in the spring um, and put them inside of a box that I do eventually get ready. Tomato plants are doing absolutely great. We'll show you what I did over here. I cleaned out the uh, the peppermint plant, one of them. I've got them all over the place. Uh, the peppermint, I mean it's just growing like wildfire. 
There is some chocolate mint that I grew in there. And let me tell you folks, the difference between peppermint and chocolate mint is somebody came up with the lame brain idea of let's call it chocolate mint and it'll be a good seller. There's chocolate mint right there. See how the stems are brown? That's the only difference. The only difference is actually is an, it, it's not as a potent smell to the peppermint with the chocolate ones. How you doing there, buddy? This reminds me of the uh, the food forest in, uh, in uh, James. I can't pronounce his last name. On New Jersey, he's got a huge garden in his backyard. I mean, he's got thousands of plants. And he's got a dog named Tuck, and it looks just like that. But anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to... Uh, this is Cody. Can you wave? Can you show us what you're doing? Can you lift up what you're doing? I'm cutting strips up again. She's cutting strips of an old sheet that just happens to have horses on it. And to, deer. What are they? Deer. Oh, they're deer. See, shows you how observant I am. You know, typical guy. Um, she's cutting those up, and I'm going to use those in the next couple of days to tie up these tomato plants um, so they don't fall and droop and die. We don't want that to happen. Hey, look at these pumpkins. Pumpkins are doing great. I just put a little bit of wire on this one to keep the dogs away from it. But those are going good. Uh, just something that grew out of the wild. Grapes are doing great. Now we're going to come back in. Now it's talk time. <laughs> You're saying, Ken, you don't stop talking. Okay, first thing first. See this mess on the floor? If anybody remembers Pollard's, we used to call it Pollard's Peanut Factory in Lowell, Mass. I believe it was on Middle Street, Cobblestone Road. And I believe it was the second oldest pub in the city of Lowell. It was called Pollard's. Jay Leno used to go there on stand-up comic open night for about half hour, 45 minutes on Saturday nights before he was ever famous. I used to go see him. I'd sit down and have a beer with him. Anyway, that's not why we're here. The reason why I'm, I brought Paula's up is you would eat peanut. They give you baskets of peanuts, and I think Logan's does it too, the restaurant, the chain. And you would throw the peanuts on the old oak floor, and the floor had such a shine on it. They never had to restrip the floors or whatever because they had the oils from it. Well, I figured, you know what? I'm going to leave these peppermint on the floor. Actually, I have a whole bar basket of them right here, and I purposely left them in here, and I'm not going to throw them out. It's because the smell is a deterrent to mosquitoes, mice, moles, chickmunks. Nobody likes that smell. So that's why I purposely left them in here. Boy, does it smell in here between all these herbs from yesterday's cutting. And look how they're drying. They dry so quick. I'm going to have to rotate these because those are kind of on a thick uh, a thick bunch. But these are the peppermint that I said that I got earlier. Let's see what that I'm going to pluck off. Okay, here it is, folks. If you are ordering anything online, the name of this place is... Four Seasons Nursery, Bloomington, Illinois. They suck. It took three months for me to get my order. They were dead when they arrived. I planted them dead, and they're still dead. They, they don't offer me a money-back guarantee. I can ship them the dead ones back, pay the postage, and they'll send me 21 other ones, which, what, probably will be dead. Here is one of the catalogs. This isn't their catalog, but I'm going to show you something. Take a look at these catalogs. Everybody gets them in the mail. A lot of people get these in the mail in the winter time, late winter. And I'm going to show you those plants that I ordered. I didn't order it through here, but the reason why I'm showing you this, we're going to kind of hang up over here. and You, know, you don't want to be watching pages turn. This company, Four Seasons, actually is part of a group they own, I believe, about six to eight other catalog businesses. And they're all the same, because when I call the 800 number, they ask me which company I ordered it from. Who calls an 800 number for a business, and the company says, which company are you calling? And the reason why I say that is, I found those evergreens in here, and they uh, were the same price. Um, everything was the same. Same look, same picture and everything as they, that were in the other six catalogs. There's a number of them that are like this. They're wider catalogs. They're not like the Burpee. Burpee's good. Burpee stands behind that product. I guess you get what you pay for. And I really can't see. I can't find it right now. And I don't want to spend this whole video me flipping through pages. But um, don't order through these fly-by-night nursery catalogs. You will get ripped off. They do not stand behind their product. They send you subpar junk that is useless, that is no good, and I'm going to flip a couple more pages, and I don't even see it in here. I know it's in here, 
because uh, I saw it earlier. But don't order stuff through these cases. Stay with Burpee or Pox is good. Uh, I mean, there's a whole bunch of good ones out there, but stay away from these. I should have bought. Oh, here they are. It's coming up. I found the page. And it is called, and it is, I know it's here, probably one more page to turn. And I don't see it on this one. Where is it? Um, I don't, uh, it's, it's got to be one of the, anyway, don't order it, folks. Waste, waste, waste of your money. And they sell all kind of other plants here. All this other crap. If you look, you look at this catalog right here. You look at this picture right here of this autumn blaze maple. Looks so beautiful. They send you a drinking straw sized dead plant. And if you look at this and you look through many of the other catalogs, you will notice that uh, they're um, they're all the same. They're all the same. They're all the same plant, same company. So again, stay away from these fly by night companies. Uh, here it is. This was called Jung Seed and Plants. Uh, they all say Spring 2021 on the top. They look so familiar. Remember it, folks. Don't order through them. Anyway, enough with that. Got a little bit of peppermint here. I'm going to take to work tonight and make some peppermint drink out of that. And um, I was wondering if there was anything else. I keep on forgetting at the beginning of my videos. Please hit the subscribe button if you have it. it takes you two seconds. All you can do is click on it. You subscribe. That's it. You don't have to do nothing else. No pop-up windows. Nothing else comes up. It's short, sweet, and simple. And uh, that's about it, folks. I want to thank you very much um, for uh, stopping by. And uh, I have to wear this shirt that says Ken on it because sometimes I forget who I am. I'm only kidding you. I'm not that bad yet anyway. But uh, anyway, folks, hey, thank you for stopping by. Hey, enjoy your Fourth of July weekend. And uh, I saw something on Facebook this morning. It said, um, if alcohol and driving do not mix. So drink before you, before you drive. No, no, no. Try, it was trying to be a funny quote, but really don't. I mean, have somebody drive. If you're going to drink, have somebody, uh, have somebody drive you home from the cookout. It's not worth losing your job, losing your life if you've got a... A degree that you want to pursue um, and it's especially in the criminal justice field and uh, you get caught drinking and driving kiss it goodbye I know as a private investigator um, if I get a DUI I can kiss my license goodbye so it's not worth it enjoy yourself have cookouts have a good time um, enjoy your loved ones um, I will be working my gig of course take care folks happy 4th of July bye